The next major change in production came when Red Wing Union Stoneware contracted with salesman George Rumrill, who had formed Rumrill Pottery in 1929 in Arkansas. By 1932, several new lines of pottery were being made for Rumrill here in Red Wing. Nearly all of these items have a bottom marking that says Rumrill on them, even though they were made in Red Wing. In addition to these new designs, some of the earlier Red Wing glazed ware was finished in new glazes and bottom marked Rumrill. Over 20 new lines of pottery were produced at the Red Wing Union Stoneware Company for George Rumrill. Among them was the Athena Group, which featured the nude female body in the 1930s. They were also the Trumpet Flower Group, that characterized features of the trumpet flower in multiple glazes. We have a neoclassic group that was featured by the balls that were on the pieces that made up each form of the many pieces. Many of these lines had from anywhere from eight to 20 some pieces of different shapes. Here we have the Indian group and here we have the vintage group characterized by the clusters of grape on the pottery item. Next down here we see the fern group which is characterized by the large fern leaves that were on the pieces and we also have the shell group. The shell group had bits and pieces of ocean shells that were incorporated into the design. An empire group had some very classic shapes from the 1930s era as well as a medieval group. Here we have the pottery made for George Rumrill that was the Swan Group and the 20 some items featured everything from candlesticks to bowls and vases that had swan figures incorporated into them. We have the Florentine Group which had a floral European look to it as well as miscellaneous group where numerous miscellaneous items. There was a hostess group of serving pieces that were made in the 1930s for the perfect hostess. Miniatures were made at that time as well as floor vases which were marketed under the Rumrell name. Near the end of the production of Red Wing making pottery for George Rumrell, in 1936 the Red Wing Union Stoneware Company reorganized with a new and likely more appropriate name. They reorganized as Red Wing Potteries. Stoneware was continuing to play a lesser role all the time and this make, made the name seem like it was a much better one for the company. The contract with George Rumrill was over by 1937.